Hi guys, Brown here. Welcome back to the Williams RTG career mode here today for part 9 at the American Grand Prix. In the background you can see our very, very worn engine that we're replacing some parts. We're skipping quality. Let's go straight to the race. Welcome once again then to the United States Grand Prix here in the magnificent city of Austin. It was here in 2018 that Kimi Raikkonen delighted the world by winning for the first time in 114 races. There's always a record to be broken, so what I wonder is in store for us today. It's the Circuit of the Americas then, situated 14 miles outside the great city of Austin. This is a 3.6 mile lap with 20 corners, 10 each to the left and to the right, and top speeds of around 200 miles per hour. Overtaking opportunities are available into turns 1 and 12, especially with that rear wing DRS wide open. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Stroll, Max Verstappen and Russell, Leclerc, Norris, Giovinazzi and Carlos Sainz. They've taken a grid penalty. Vettel, Ricardo, Brown and Raikkonen. Mick Schumacher, Fernando Alonso, Esteban Ocon and Pierre Gasly. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Mazepin and Yuki Tsunoda. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. So a lot of penalties then because I had a really bad quality. But George, P6. We could get some points here today after that great result in Singapore but here we go then the five red lights as they say in America let's go racing Lewis Hamilton gets a good start because he won his eighth title last time out we're gonna try and go around the outside George looks to have got the good start as we go around the outside of several cars and we've got a good start but we've had to give those places back so our good start hasn't turned out to be that great as the two Mercedes still lead from the two Red Bulls I think that is George is still around P6 and our great start has kind of cost us there George looks to have dropped he dropped back behind someone but now heading down into the half hairpin we are quite far back we've got the Alfa Romeo behind us as we go a little bit wide then in front of us is the Aston Martin this is a replay of the start so we've got quite a good start okay we're monitoring somewhere on the ICE be aware that we will start to see a loss of power and that's what you want to hear before we pretty much before we got off the line but you can see it was millimeters we were just just off the track but we've had to give those places back so this is George then. Have to place our Williams isn't really there. Giovinazzi on lap three, his engine has given up. And that's two races, two, two times in the last three races that Giovinazzi is out of the Grand Prix he had that retirement in Monza as well as this is George fending off Charles Leclerc as he tries to go round the outside Charles then, then will have the inside line but George forces him wide and off the track the two Ferraris snaking through I really wanted to try and get through those ahead so that we could kind of protect pro protect George kind of in the talk as there goes Charles Leclerc past 
um, George Russell as we head down the inside and we nearly hit George Russell but we've gained the two places we're side by side with Seb Vettel and we get one position could have probably gotten two there if we if our brakes worked and we are going to get two now Carlos Sainz just a little bit too far in front but look how close this was heading into the corner we literally brushed there must be millimeters between our front and George's rear that would have been a big crash as well but George carries on we are in P10 as you can see that this is another replay then this is how close it was you can see it we pretty much skim tires but this is the other Ferrari absolutely blitzing George into turn one of Carlos Sainz George tries to fight back but now we are going to get our elbows out we're going to try and be kind of a shield to George this was my plan this is what I wanted to do back in Monza um, when George absolutely sent it down the inside but I was giving it my all I was trying and then Alonso just absolutely done me round the outside at that corner we tried to fight back we were a little bit too far back and now we are going to have to defend after overtaking him a couple of laps ago by Sebastian Vettel he's up our inside we're going to push him right to the inside we go back over to the racing line but Vettel we get blocked off by Fernando Alonso how hard did he break as we had to back out but we are behind Sebastian Vettel now as he hunts down former championship rival Fernando Alonso and them two are all over the back of George as Daniel Ricciardo tries to go down our inside we force him wide as Daniel Ricciardo pits maybe there may have been a, may have been a bit of contact there and now here we come George on lap 10 pits and it's only a matter of time before we will follow him, follow him in as well as he comes out right at the back in P18 and one lap later here we come on the soft tyres to make our one and only stop as well after quite a dramatic start um, yeah into the pits we come we're gonna go on to the set of the hard tyres and we'll see where that takes us maybe we can snatch a point maybe we can't but we'll see how far we can get we were just inside the points before we pitted but I think most cars are doing the one stop as well but here comes the Alpine right behind us of um, the Alfa Tauri rather down our ends tries to go around our outside but Pierre Gasly cuts us back there and does us round the outside but we get a good exit we have a little bit of oversteer and that cost us the position as we try and we nearly hit the back of Pierre Gasly nearly hit the back of George and now we've hit, nearly hit the back of Pierre Gasly and now here comes Mick Schumacher I had no pace on these hard tyres they were absolutely rubbish and we're going to be overtaken here by a horse and it's, it's very much uh, We've, we've, we've come down from cloud nine very quickly and we've sunk like a like an absolute rock as here we go now Mick Schumacher trying again you can see George George decided to make the two the two stop he will make his second stop later on in the Grand Prix but we've been overtaken by Mick Schumacher we tried to defend round the outside and indeed we will defend round the outside as we go to the inside through the S section to BTEC, Maggots and Beckett's we somehow keep Mick Schumacher behind but here he comes again I really didn't think after Singapore when we got that podium that one round later I'd be back battling the horses especially when we were battling the the um, Alpines and the Aston Martins at the start of this race as well but here comes Mick Schumacher again he's all over us we are literally 
giving it everything. But this time, Mick Schumacher gets us. We do the old switcheroo, though. We swap him the dummy, and we stay in front, and we're battling so hard. George Russell has made his stop. Mick Schumacher round our outside. We force him wider. We go off the track, and George gets past him, and now... Of course I am. I'm going to let George go. He's on the two-stop. But we, as Williams, have absolutely bottled this race. I don't know what we've done. Starting P6 and P13, we got up into the points. George fell back a little bit. But how have we managed to drop this far back? There goes Mick Schumacher again. And this time, he's got us. And we've been battling that hard that Nikita Mazepin has caught at the back of us. But we've managed to stick with Mick Schumacher and we're going to go back down the inside of him on lap 21 of 28. And this is very much... This is not where we want to be. But I was struggling, these hard tyres were absolutely awful. Down the inside goes Mick Schumacher, we cut him back. Looks to have made a bit of a mistake there Mick Schumacher, as now Nikita Mazepin, his teammate, had a little look at him. But here he comes again, the two halves at this time are being double teamed. We have to push Mick Schumacher wide and then cover off Nikita Mazepin. But we somehow, there's Mick Schumacher going round our outside as we force him wider. Now Mazepin is right behind his teammate. Is he brave enough to have a lunge? He's wiped him out enough times in real life, but that time he does back out of it. But here comes Mazepin now. Never mind Mick having to overtake us as he goes again and we nearly make contact. And now, coming towards the end of the race, you can see the two Mercedes because we are about to be lapped, lapped in the American Grand Prix. How have we sunk this low in the matter of one round? We've been lapped by Valtteri Bottas and now the eighth time world champion Lewis Hamilton after Singapore. And we've managed to stay ahead. George hasn't really gone anywhere. I don't know. I think George could have got a couple of points today. But we as Williams, this is very much a day to forget. As down the inside goes Mick Schumacher and Nikita Mazepin's followed, followed him free. But we cut back. Nikita Mazepin, I am not finishing behind Mazepin. As now we are right on the back of Mick Schumacher. Can we get both of them back? Look at Mazepin, he looks to have got us in the slipstream. Down the inside we go on both of them. We squeeze them wide. I don't know how we've done that. Mazepin now is on the inside and Mazepin has overtaken Mick Schumacher. Mick Schumacher tried and tried and tried again. But we very much had that door shut. We put a padlock on it as well. But here comes the key to Mazepin. Mazepin up our inside. As I said earlier, we are not finishing behind Mazepin. I cut back to the outside, try and send it round the outside. But Nikita Mazepin cuts us off and defends us. And we're now going to try and have, have to go for the lunge into this corner. But we're too far back to do so. And it looks like Mazepin, as much as I hate to admit it, he's got us but going on to the final lap because of course we've been lapped so lap 27 is our right final lap of the race we have managed to re-overtake Mazepin but Mazepin's going to go back to our inside Mick Schumacher's fell back Mick Schumacher um, we keep the Mazepin on the inside we try and cut him back we're now going to try and cut him back again but we couldn't we're still on the back of Nikita Mazepin can we send it up the inside? Yes, we can. I love that corner so much from the racing line. And we are going to do both of the horses. It's a win, though, for Lewis Hamilton. Valtteri Bottas is P2. And we are battling over. Nikita Mazepin into the penultimate corner, tried to get past this. But we have fought so, so, so hard for P17. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Ferme.
just victory today then, but the championship as well. What a spectacular season they've had. Congratulations to the whole team. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Driver of the day, Yuki Tsunoda gets my vote today. Nothing can challenge the leaders of the Constructors' Championship at this point, but it's another clear win for Mercedes as they manage to secure the Constructors' title. An incredible performance for the whole team. Well, for what would be the eighth season in a row, Mercedes have got the double drivers and Constructors, but that's a race to forget for us. George, I think he could have got some points today if he hadn't done the two-stop. But yeah, after Singapore and getting that podium, it's not really what I expected. We've got one more round to go this season at the Brazilian Grand Prix. Full focus, though, is on next season, probably already. Um, but we'll see what happens in Brazil. We've got some warm parts going into Brazil. There's no point taking any engine penalties, but we'll see what we can do in Brazil. And until then, goodbye.